That's a free LF, right? <laughs> I forgot about the walk. God, this guy looks so cool. This might... This might actually be my, my favorite LF in the game. I haven't seen it in so long. That LF is so clean. Post in the comments what your favorite one is. That might be my favorite one. It's so nice. Let me just say that, like, I, I kind of want to do a video on this, but the equipment reroll system is the absolute worst thing ever. I don't know why. I do know why. But they didn't have to add another gotcha to the freaking gotcha game, if you know what I'm saying. These things have a 1% pull rate at, like, it's got to be worse than 1%. You could literally spend hundreds and hundreds of erasers getting this bottom slot to be a good one. I got so fed up with this equip specifically that I just re-rolled, like, garbage, like, C rank, or not C rank, but, like, D ranks until I got one with red and called it a day, man. I don't, I don't care. And there's gonna be something in the comments. Oh, I got it in 10 erasers. That's fine. I'm happy for you. That doesn't change the fact that the system is garbage. I've gotten other ones that worked out really, really quickly. Um, and, and other ones that have taken me 600 erasers. And you know the worst thing? Is when it stops on the stupid 10% every every three seconds with a gold slot instead of a red. It's like, dude, don't stop five times in a row on the gold slot when I clearly only want the red slot. Oh my god, the system is so garbage. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. So sorry I opened the video this way, but it just, if I'm not going to do a separate video, let me know if you want to see that. It had to be said here. I had to vent. I had to vent. I'm sorry. That being said, this is probably the best equip in the entire game. You might have saw my community post last night. They decided to do something different. They gave LF Bardock a platinum equip, which is hilarious to see him and Jiren getting the latest ones. <laughs> There's so many other LFs that are way older, like Purple Rosé. Anyways, um, but with this equip, they decided to just say, hey. We're going to give him an entire new passive. They had been doing this for a while. Somebody commented on that post saying, hey, didn't Purple Goten have something similar? Yeah, he did. It wasn't as recognizable or as notable, but he got an extra effect where he heals on switch out. And these newer platinum equips that have been coming out, they've been doing like, they've been adding on to pre-existing stuff that's very powerful, like Gogeta SS4s and stuff like that. But this is an entirely new, like it plays in his play style, but this is crazy. This is, this is literally a paragraph. <laughs> Couple that with the potential to get up to 40% extra damage, 35 there, 35 on defenses, and 15% health. This is a nuts equip. The only one I think is even better, like, stat-wise, is probably Cells, because Cells is insane. Like, it really is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to test out Bardock with that. I purposely ran a pretty gimpy team, so he would... So, the idea here, if you're wondering, was I want to use TN. I haven't really used TN since he came out, and I haven't used him since his effect got added back for the Rising Rush. Um, Purple Majin Vegeta is just irrelevant. Ignore him. Um, just the ability. And I wanted to have two greens on the team so people are, are, are feeling a little bit more inclined to bring a purple into the match. Um, and then I also have a couple blues on the team, so maybe, maybe they're not as likely to bring their powerful red into the match. Just trying to play mind games with this team. Um, just ignore it otherwise. But Bardock, just going to say this. I'll say it at the end. Bardock is so much better with this equip. He really is. I've recorded all the, all the matches. He really is, but he can't overcome three things. First and foremost, heavy red dominance meta heavy red dominant meta we just got another crazy power and they're all like top 10 characters too much next yellow competition is not it for this guy he's got too much competition there's a, there's too many good yellow characters right now as well next uh, and some of them are like leader skills characters like you know that you would put in there but super vegito comes to mind obviously and next and last but not a uh, lot not least is the fact that all of his stuff is gimped and restricted to needing this or that and blah, blah, blah. Um, when allies are defeated, you get this stuff to activate here. When allies are defeated, you get to pick up the endurance. And only defensive neutrality, by the way. He he really needed offensive neutrality added as well, but he doesn't have it. Um, they gimped him and they gimped Jiren. Uh, they gimped Sword of Hope Trunks. Who, he was okay, but they heavily restricted his teams because hybrids were dominant. But like... There's just too much stuff in his kit that's restricted. And even the equip, the funny thing is the equip 
also is like, oh, when the enemy switches, there's some stuff down here for that type of stuff too. He gets insane value though when they switch versus him or when he's versus an enemy. It's just still though, if none of these things are proccing, if you're early in the game, he is not in a position where it's, it's very Jiren. It's very, very Jiren. Like if you look at Jiren's kit, oh, he doesn't activate his, if they don't activate a rush, you don't get a litany of things. There's so many effects you don't get. So Bardock is awesome. Um, but I don't really expect him to just like Kid Buu, just like Broly. I don't expect to see him much in the meta with this. Just like Jiren, I don't expect to see him much. So we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Hey, we're going to get a twofer. Let's go. Please bring the Bardock. Let's go. So if you don't know what that is, I always got to explain it. It's where you see the showcase character from both perspectives. It mainly happens with new characters or new equips, I guess, in this case. But every now and again, I'll actually come across the same type of situation when I show like an older or like mid-tier character. So here we go with the next one, guys. And if you're enjoying, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not yet, still hit that thumbs up because you will. Thank you. Let's get started. Welcome, Bardock. As I know the penalty, I'm not going to switch, but I'm going to make him feel this. That no switch is so problematic. It's, and it procs every time. It's so problematic. It's, the, it's like easily the best thing in his kit. It's like ripped straight out of what? Kalen Khalifa's kit, right? It's crazy good. It's definitely the best thing in his kit because everything else in his kit's restricted. He just got the effect of his plat as well, by the way, from me switching, right? Look at this combo. Such impressive combo. You gotta switch twice in this combo. Very impressive. I like that a lot, man. That was very and his ult looks really nice. Very impressive combo from him. I'd like to go to back to mine, but he's kind of far away, and the no switch is still on. Yeah, can't really do it. Tien has the ability to do a lot of things with his green, like Restore Vanish, but I probably will just find up using it on my Bardock. I need to get my Bardock back in the game, and ideally after I've used Tien's Vanish. I wonder if he has a green in his hand. I'm just going to get... Oh, he assumed he was going to land that. Oh, that blows. Sorry, man. He assumed he was landing that. Uh, I'm not going to drop. He hasn't brought Ultra Super Vegito in once, has he? I don't think he lets Vegito eat this. Yeah, didn't think so. But this guy shouldn't die. It's still kind of early. Oh, it's critting, though. Such impressive damage still. Given where he was at, that was not bad. And the rush. That was actually smart pressuring the Goku because it put me in a bad spot. Because Tien can't save himself. Is this a guess? Damn. Yeah, it put me in a bad spot. I switched too early with the Goku. That played. That was the typical way I would like to play. But if it was a, if it was reversed order wise, it would have been fine. But Tien can't save himself. Obviously, right? Interesting. Goku's in a really prime position right here. If only I can get the gauge built. Looks like I can. It's going to be just on the precipice, the precipice of being completely built. Damn, one card shy. Are you kidding me? This still got his first life. Not mad at that. Okay, there's my endurance. Oh. Mm. 
notice how my ult is queued, but I'm doing all this stuff to delay it. <laughs> GG, man. GG for that. That was a good play. Hell of a play. I didn't expect that. Hell of a play. But it's all right. My Bardock's going to get it. That was a hell of a play. I didn't expect him to throw that back in my face. <laughs> I could have stayed with Goku and he would have won this. <laughs> but I didn't expect him to throw that in my face, man. But still, he couldn't overcome the loss of the gauge. Like, if Bardock had a green in that scenario, it would have... Eh, he probably would have got it because it does 60 and he was passive for a couple seconds. Still, that was really awesome. The Bardocks were popping off with the damage. Blech. Okay. So Trunks is pretty useless in this match. This is fine. I know it's going to drop, but it's all right. Trunks is pretty useless. I mean, outside of the fact he can do good damage, he doesn't have the endurance. It's an interesting team, nonetheless, though. I like how this combo is literally never-ending. Freaking Vegito is just... This is why Bardock can't exist in the meta. And then there's Kaioken Goku as well. Oh, come on. This should clash. Okay, I was going to say. Well, he was out there for a good while, so he got a lot of buffs. Thank you for that. Hello. Yeah, like, it's, it, well, I shouldn't say can't exist. It's just that because both of those characters are ultras, and not everybody has everything, right? It's just that there's a huge chasm in how good the characters are comparatively. So I don't even need to worry about you because you don't have endurance. You should just get one shot here. <laughs> he got him up out of there real quick. <laughs> I don't blame at all. Can I get a Bardock switch and blue card combo? Yeah, I was off by hair because I didn't expect a tap shot. I didn't need the reload, but I'll still take the stop clock. Oh, thank you. I knew you'd switch. It was the most risky thing in the world, but I knew you'd do it. What? That's going to force the switch debuff. So since you pulled your ult and rush, it's a free LF, right? <laughs> I forgot about the walk. God, this guy looks so cool. This might... This might actually be my, my favorite LF in the game. I haven't seen it in so long. That LF is so clean. Post in the comments what your favorite one is. That might be my favorite one. It's so nice. Cooler, a cooler, a freezer, no brother. That's the only part of the song I know, but it's the best part, so it's okay. Shout out to Meta Cooler for your version. We don't care about yours. All right, I'm ready to lay the hammer down, Cooler. He was late. Thank you for that. And when you switch again, I get another buff. Are you going to do it? Surprised he brought these three. Surprised there's no Gogeta here. No way you let me get the revive already. I was going to say, dude, that's way too early. That's just too early. Because what's the point of having it if you're going to let it go that quickly? Oh, I was about to click a blast, too. Damn you, Tapion. Coward. <laughs> Hella ruined my play. I was legit about to click the card. Okay, that's what I get for swipe happy. As soon as Cooler enters, I'm going to click uh, Goku, though. Because he'll have all strikes, no matter what. Well, it could be a blue. But he won't have a blast, is the point. Okay. Good drop. You gonna drop again? 
Okay. So no need to drop now. I didn't expect the cooler switch drop combo, unfortunately. Cooler's doing a lot of damage. All my characters are already super low. Can't do anything about this. Goku's probably dead. I'd bet money on it. Hopefully I'm wrong and I lose said money. Ah, yep. It's a shame Bardock doesn't have offensive neutrality. He picks up defensive neutrality for whatever reason, dude. It's, whoa, this dude just teleported to me. What in the world? But yeah, it's the dumbest thing ever. Switch. I'm not doing any damage to Tapion here. My Tapion is tanking really well. Is it even worth using this? I don't think I'm going to get enough. Wow. It was worthwhile. What the? But I can still rescue here. I'm curious as to why. But taking all that damn damage. That damage is the problem. That damage is garbage. I have endurance here, but it's absolutely garbage taking all that damage. Okay. It's a shame he doesn't get offensive neutrality because I'd kill here. Yeah, he would kill. That, that is the main reason why Vegito is relevant in this meta, while um, Kaioken isn't. That's the, that's the literal main reason. Because Kaioken is good. Very, very good. Vegito also having endurance is a big deal. But, like, Vegito can go neutral on command with the green card. And it's huge when you don't just have the defensive version, like some of these characters are getting. I need that green with Bardock for the vanish. I'll go quick here. Nice. Good change of pace. He didn't expect it. So we're going to take a crap ton of damage. Uh, I'm going down to 1 HP. I don't want to use this green, but I need to. I want to use it post vanish, but I can't. I can't chance it. I need to use it instantly. That's exactly why. I knew he was going to try to tap punch me. This Gohan still has super revive. And not anymore. This match is winnable. It's just how. I've got to play really good. He won't switch. No way. He did. Really interesting decision. Considering I could still rush. That's extremely interesting. Main? Oh, the green. This is going to get canceled, isn't it? Great. I'm going to have to sack this guy off instantly. Here's the main draw. Okay. Let's play the game, Gohan. I thought he might clash me there. I thought he might clash me there. GG, man. I if I could have like I had options like I could have did a tackle, but the you know I could have got God on that. <laughs> I could have tried to strike. I might have got him, but I probably would have got God <laughs> with the blue card. So I needed to pop my rush finally. Damn, that was a good game. Can I get a crack at it? Crack at that Gogeta. Switch versus me. Switch versus me. Actually, you know what? Maybe he won't. It's fine. He didn't. Gogeta still had his one-time cut, so... Oh, okay. Maybe he'll switch here for sure. Right? You know you want to get your Bardock built up. Not Bardock, excuse me. Your uh, USV. Sounds like USB. <laughs> Okay, good play not going for that. I ain't switching. I can do this all day. Oof. 
Ooh, wow, that... Okay, so, like, it was good that he did that. That was a good play. But it converted extremely quickly. That green card is so beautiful. It converted into a into a strike extremely quickly. Like, there was no, like, downtime in between. It was really weird. It is a okay. I'm not gonna draw my ult yet. I could switch here and draw, but I'm not going to. Tian's been doing his job, if you couldn't tell. I would've got rushed already if he wasn't. Gotta watch out for that blue card doing the crazy damage. Ooh, baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so gorgeous. Oh, you're so gorgeous. Blast, blast, blast. I swear, give me a blast. Thank you. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I should have used that strike. Oh, my God. I should have used the strike. Oh, my God. I should have used the strike. <laughs> Maybe I should have used... Uh oh, let me go for a quick attack, just in case. Okay, you got him. Never mind. All is well in Bardock land. Should have canceled that long-range strike when I had a chance. <laughs> Those switches is eating him alive, though. <laughs> Those switches OP on me. That is not a good switch. And if you rush, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know what's going to happen if you rush. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, all right. It is what it is. That was a good play. That was a good try, though. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got guessed. Dang, that actually sucks. <laughs> Good or by Vegito. Another switch. <laughs> Those switches OP, bruh, bruh. Oh, GG, man. Bardock damn near solo this match. I need to go brush up on uh, TN's mechanic. I can't, I'm pretty sure it's when I have three. Maybe it's when we both have three. I'll go. I'll, I'll know by the next match. So don't bother telling me in the comments. This is such a funny game the way we started this one. <laughs> going at it. He's going to have to switch here. Shame I have nothing. I'll draw a card here, right? Ooh, he didn't switch. That actually caught me off guard. I thought for sure he'd be switching. <laughs> it's all right, man. A couple blasts. Send me the strike. Yep. I thought for sure he would switch instantly. It's not a bad decision not to, though, if you can keep your sub count a certain way, right? God dang. He did a lot of damage. I'm trying to save that green for Bardock. I don't remember how long his animation is. It looked like it was a long one. Here. I think I'm gonna tackle. Thank you for the Dragon Ball. This is a drop. It's intentional. Let's see if he switched. Yep, I got him, damn. And I got the buff for him switching. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna draw my ult yet. Oh, good play. Do I save him? No, Broly also gets switch buffs. I'm gonna stay in as long as I can to get as many buffs as possible. I switched at the last second as soon as I finished saying that because I looked at my HP <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. One more hit and I'm dead and that's my showcase character. This is fine. He's gonna get forced out. It's not ideal for him to get forced out because it's gonna bring in the other SS3, which means that my sub counts are gonna get screwed up. It's like a rush is easily on the table right now for him. Good play. Thankfully, he didn't faint. I just need to stall a couple counts longer. And I'm out of that. All right, GG, man. It's not over, but it's over. Especially with that extra switch. Maybe if I did more damage right here. His damage is fine with the draw speed and stuff, though. Extra damage, card draw. The game crashed.
Legends, man. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Why is this? Ha this actually happens to me every single day. It's already happened twice today. Every single day. Ever since this game updated a couple of, like a month ago or a few weeks ago to the new battle version and all that, it now crashes on Android devices. I apparently have to put it back on my iPhone. I don't like playing on my phone because the screen is smaller that you guys can see, but I'm going to have to, it doesn't crash on iPhone. It's only crashing on Android. And I'm not, I mean, I don't have an iPad anymore. I used to. I've got to I've got to put it back on my phone if it's going to keep crashing because this is problematic and it completely ruined my mood. I'm not recording anymore today. So, thankfully this is the last video I need to do. I'm just going to conclude with this. Bardock, I've already said my opinion on him a lot throughout the video. He was clearly going to win that match. I was probably going to set up an LF. Um Bardock is good. He just can't compete with a heavy red meta. He can't compete with the fact that there are better yellow Saiyans out in the existence in the game right now. And last but not least, he can't overcome the fact that just from a general design standpoint, he has so many things that are reliant on allies being defeated or the opponent doing this when there are characters that get stuff just to exist. They literally get stuff just because they want to. Characters like him, Jiren, and Sword of Hope Trunks literally got gimped while all the, all the characters surrounding them didn't get these same restrictions. So that's just food for thought. Uh, Bardock, though, is really good. He's so much better than he was. Beautiful LF. I'm excited to see him again. But you won't see him very long in the meta. So it is what it is. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Click on one of the videos on the screen, and I'll see all of you next time.